All right, you're probably wondering why I'm sitting in here. Um, before I go out to the truck, I want to just say some thing, a few things, and I'll hop out just so I don't look as dumb. You know, talking to a camera. You know, of course, I live in a development where there's tons of people. So, which I hate it, but can't do anything about that. I'm in the Chevy, the GMC, actually. And, um, I'm getting ready to walk out there. I got the plow serviced in the pump and, you know, the fluids changed and everything like that. I just need a hose. So I'll have to go to, there's a place called Intercom around the corner from me. I'll have to go there and get the hose I need. So I got the trip spring off, the new trip spring. And stuff like that on there. I got to get the radiator for the truck. There is a hole in the radiator. So until then, uh... I'm, I'm, I sold the still chainsaw. Unfortunately, I have to. I haven't sold it. Someone's coming to pick it up tonight for $135. So that's gonna pay for the new radiator. As much as I don't want to sell that that chainsaw, because it's a really good little saw. But I figured I need a new radiator. Um, I need to get me and my uncle are gonna do the the radiator, and his buddy's gonna bend the fuel lines from the plastic the rubber gas line from the metal gas lines all the way up to the throttle body. So that's next on the list and that's it. And uh, the plow is rusty before I go out there. I'll show you the plow. So it's you'll see, you know, we, I found a new blade for $275. I don't know if I, I want to buy a new blade just yet. So, I'll show you the blade and everything. 275 bucks for a new blade. The pump's good. I mean, the only thing we might change is, uh, is the remote. Because this is, like, right there's float. That's, you could, uh, I do it more like this. Float. Floats like that. Down, lock, and float. Straight up. Left, right. So, right now, I just keep it in float. No strain on the hydraulics at all. So, I'll go out there, do a little review, or a little, you'll see the plow and the pump all hooked up. I need to get the light, lights for each side of the pump there, and I need to get a uh, light for the roof. So, that's just the next thing. So, other than that, we're almost ready. So, probably another couple hundred dollars and we'll be ready. Which stinks. But, you know, it all pay for itself the first storm. Got new brakes on there so the pedal's not as squishy. There we go. So, and that's about it. So, I'm going to go out there. You guys are probably dying to see this. Uh, I don't have the key to the truck. My dad took it because we only have one copy of it. And he went to go get a couple copies of it. So, we all have a copy of the truck for the the key to the truck sorry so or I'll demonstrate the play how it goes up and down left right and whatnot so I think I might need new solenoid too for the plow I'll have to check that out because sometimes it doesn't always work you got to jiggle it a little bit I don't know I got to take a closer look at it but I'm gonna go out there I'm not gonna say nothing and I'm gonna just show you the plow and the pump and stuff so I might say a few words if no one's out there. Alright, let me show you. As you can see, it's got a little rust to it, but that's all right. So I got the, it's, the Meyer plow is, people say it's hard to hook up. You do need two people to hook it up, just because it's easier that way, but it's pretty simple to hook up. 
it's just that, you know, it's heavy. Because the plow's heavy, but, you know, other than that, it's not bad to hook up. It's just, it's dummy proof. You can hook the two hoses, you know, one onto the pump, one on the blade for each hydraulic. There's only two hoses you got to connect up. And you got to make sure you put the chain on the right spot on the pump. So, you know, if you if it doesn't go all the way down, if the truck's not level, you need to be able to make sure you can get the chain off so that lifts helps lift the plow up and down. So, but it's usually just two pins. It's so simple. You know, next time I hook it up or take it off, I'll just try to make a quick video of it. You know, so, but it is simple to do. It's my plow apparently makes one of the best plows, but I don't know. Western makes a good plow too. But that's a totally different story. But so we do got the plow on. I got to, I don't have anywhere to keep the plow, so I got to carry it. Me and my dad and my other two brothers are going to try and carry it around back. And we're going to just set it out back. So, but that's about it. Hope you guys enjoy. And I didn't bore you, bore you guys too much. So, the next is the radiator and fuel lines. So, it's not like putting fuel lines on a, uh, on a weed whacker, so, but it's all right. Uh, we'll get it done, then we'll be ready to plow snow. We're thinking about going into more firewood business. Me, my mom, my dad, mostly my dad and me, my other two brothers. We're thinking about, since we have so much stuff now, renting a little plot of land to put all of our stuff, our tools, our plow, you know, and stuff like that. Um, and I found a my buddy works for tree service and he said he could hook me up with a dump truck load a load of wood a dump truck load of wood every single day so of hardwood so i could uh you know we're really thinking about that we're just trying to you know i, I have everything i need except for a place to put the wood i have a truck to deliver it i have a source to get the wood from i i just need to place the and i can sell so many cords of wood in no time because when i was doing wood i was I, in one in about a month i sold seven cords of wood at 150 dollars a cord of unseasoned wood was that's a you do the math and that's that's some serious money so it's just a matter of finding a place to keep the wood again but that that's all right wow it's a long video so that's about it and the recoil i need to get a new pull rope for the recoil and for the, the X mark, and I'll have to do some cold starts or something. So, all right, guys. I will. Well, I forget what I was gonna say, but that's all right. I will talk to you guys later. Tell me what you think of the Meyer plow setup. I think it's pretty cool. Someone, man, I'm really going on a rabbit trail here. But someone told me they'd buy it off me for 700 bucks. But I said no way. I'm gonna keep the plow. And we'll make that in one storm, hopefully. Just easy money. You know, I could just say, all right, come come get everything. But I, I like the way the, tra the truck looks with the pump on it and stuff. So, all right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Comment, rate, and subscribe. Tell me what you think. Tell me, so just tell me your feedback and whatnot. That's about it. Thanks, guys.